In this video, we're going to focus on um, addition and subtractions um, and then talk briefly about multiplication and division. Our focus here is on how um, a typical computer system does the arithmetic. Um, uh, so we're going to focus all of our numbers uh, for, for the purposes of this discussion. All of our numbers will be assumed to be uh, let's let's uh, let's stick with the eight bit number. They all want to be eight bits, and we will be using the twos complement. They're also called um, um, the reduced um, radix uh, complement or RC. So. These are the two assumptions, and we're going to start looking at adding two numbers. Adding two numbers is going to be pretty straightforward. Let's say someone asked us to add um, 20 and, uh, let's say, 31. And so 20 and both of those, let's say, are positive. So when we add them up, uh, we know it's our decimal point. We know it's going to be 51. But how do we do the binary and binary? We have to... Uh, these both going to be translated into 20 is 16 and 4. So that is a 20. And then we got to make sure there's 8 bit in here. So there's 8 bits. And since it's positive, this we have to do nothing to it. And then 31, 31 is going to be basically 16, 8, and 7. Um, so, so that's what that is and since that's a positive and then we're just going to add it one plus zero is one uh, one plus zero is one one plus one is zero plus a carry then one plus one is a zero plus a carry um, and then a one zero zero so now the question is is this number the same as 51 we'll take a look at it this is 2 to the power of so let's start here we got 2 to the power of 0 then we got 2 to the power of 1, and then 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we've got a 32 plus a 16 plus a 2 plus a 1, and that is 51. So the positive one is pretty easy. You just really just write it out, and there you go. How about if I have to subtract? Well, if you have to subtract, let's say 20, let's use the same numbers, 20, and you want to subtract the 31 from here. Um, uh, the way we do it in two's complement is that what we're going to do is we actually, instead of doing this operation, we're going to do this operation. To you, it might sound the same, but it makes a difference to us because now what we can do is for the 31, since it's negative, we got to do a two's complement. Anytime you have a negative number, you have to do a two's complement work which first let's write it in binary. We already did that a little earlier. So I'm just gonna use that number, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So, uh, uh, oops, sorry, that's that's not right. 31. 31 was, um, let's clean this up and start. Right. So 31 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. I believe I have enough ones there. So that's a 31, and so that's a negative, that's base two, but I still gotta convert it to a, um, to a two, two's complement. I'm gonna use the quick inspection method. Remember what that is, I'm gonna come from the right-hand side, and I'm gonna leave the first one alone and convert everything else. So I'm gonna have a one, zero, 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 so I've got four zeros for these four ones here, and then one, one, one. Now I've got a two's complement. Uh, and then for the 20, I don't have to do anything. I just write the binary version of 20, which I have from up there. So it's zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero. And all I do, I add these together, right? 20 plus minus 30. This is minus 30 in radius, uh, in two's complement. And this is a 20 positive. So I'm just going to add it. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1, 1. 
Now that's my result, but notice the most significant part is one, which means, means that this is a negative number, which means I gotta do a two quick inspection to bring it out of two's complement so I know what number I'm looking at. But so if I do that, this is gonna be minus, and then I'm gonna do a two's complement, which will come from the right side, leave the all the digits, including the first one alone, and then complement everything else. So this is telling me I've got a, this is 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 0. So that means I've got a minus 11. Do you see that? So I've got a minus 11. Is that correct? And sure enough, the minus 11 is the right answer. So you notice that once I know how to do addition, and once I know how to do two's complement, the process is the same. Addition is exactly like the subtraction. All I have to do is um, uh, make sure that the um, what I'm going to subtract is the two's complement. This is a negative number. The other thing to pay close attention to when you have a positive number or you get your sign bit is zero, you do not need to do and you changed in the number that is the number you use in your two's complements work okay so that brings us to the end of um, arithmetic with respect to um, to two's complement um, and there we are